In this video, I'm going to show you how to continue editing or changing a mesh that you already added using the newest Unreal modeling tools. But before playing with these meshes, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and a comment on my channel. Also, don't forget to join our mailing list on woolen.com to get our video game related courses with coupons only available to our subscribers. Our next course is about level design, and you will receive a discount code in release week only by subscribing to woolen.com, which, by the way, is free. To make this exercise, we're going to File, New Level, I'm going to take a very basic level and I'm going to delete the floor. So let me select the floor, delete. And now I have already enabled the tools that uh, we need for modeling in Unreal 5. If you don't know how to enable these tools, you can check our description where we are going to add a link to a video explaining that process. Now let's go to the modeling tool. I will select it here and I'm going to pin the tool. Now I am going to add a box, let's say on this position, let me go front. And as you can see, we had subdivisions of one for depth, for width and for height. Now let's say I am going to accept this object. As you can imagine at this moment, I cannot make changes to this object. And this is one of the challenges that we confront with the new modeling tools of Unreal. Nevertheless, there is always an option. So to explain this, if we go into the attributes and we go to inspect, you can see exactly how the model was originally created by you. But let's say that we want to add some cuts on the left and on the right. So in the model, I will go to the insert edge loop. And you can insert edge loops horizontal or vertical depending on where the mouse is going to be positioned. If you are close to the top or bottom, you will get a vertical loop. And if you're going to the left or right, you're going to have a horizontal loop. So let's take this a vertical loop on this position and another one on here. Fantastic. And now let's say, let's accept here. And now I want to make some changes to this geometry. If you inspect this object at this moment, let's go to attributes and inspect, you see that the geometry is totally different to the original one. But now let's say as well that I'm going to take the mesh and I decided going to polygroup edit, I want to move this face down. So having selected the face and now going to the selection filter of face, I am going to move this one down going to move it, in fact, a lot. And now I am going to move it, let's say, to the inner section. And as you can see, if I accept this structure, the geometry of this object is totally destroyed. How are we going to deal with this? Well, once you have the geometry ready, what you're going to do is select again the object, go into Mesh, select the Remesh, and the geometry will be recreated and everything will be preserved because you have smoothing type shape preserving. Now, right now, by default, you have 5,000 triangles, which is too much. Remember that the less triangles you are going to use, the less time it's going to take to rendering this object. So I can go for a very lower number, let's say 100, and see if the geometry keeps their structure. And if I can go even lower, Probably I will go lower, let's say 50. Let's say, in fact, 10. So as you can see, the geometry, the structure of the original, of the object that you updated is now exactly as you wish. So let's accept that. Good, everything looking good. Now we have another problem, which is, let's say that I want to apply some material to this. Let me go to the selection and let me find a material here. Uh, let's say this brick clay. That sounds great. So as you can see, the brick clay is a mess and we need to fix that as well. We have the structure of the object of this box of this static mesh perfect, but when we go to adding the material, it's not working very well. So let's go back to the modeling tool. And in the modeling tool, I'm going to pin here again. I'm going to select the object 
and now we'll go to the UVs. And in the UVs, I select UV Unwrap. Now, the structure makes more sense. I am going to accept, and now you can see that the material is looking correctly. Of course, in this moment, the material is vertical, not horizontal as we expected, but this is a thing that you can fix. In fact, I'm going to leave in the description another video where you can learn how to rotate the materials and how to scale the materials to the size that you want to have. So, we change the look of the mesh, we remesh the elements, and we fix as well the UV unwrap. This is everything you need to know about this section because now you can literally change any object that you already selected first here on Create, and you can change it afterwards, and then you know how to remesh the object and how to fix the problems with the UV. I hope this tutorial will be helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and a comment on our video. I'm expanding my team to create more Unreal tricks for you. With your support, you will help me add more and more content for you. Also, remember that by joining Woolen.com, you will get access to huge discounts on our courses and free access to content only available for our subscribers on our webpage. Again, thanks for your support. I'll see you very soon. Cheers.